Here we go. Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Manchester United haven't signed a player today, but guess what? We are kicking out players, potential dead wood, I mean dead woods of Manchester United. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll be talking today. We'll be talking about uh, the movement in Manchester United. And guys, don't forget we have five more days to the end of the transfer window in the Premier League. So guys, before we stand up and we continue, guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you subscribing, guys. We have a lot for you this season, so get involved. Keep sharing, sharing. We have a massive Facebook group. Everything is below. We, I will advise you guys, guys, you should join our, our Telegram group because that's where I will be firing all those breaking news. If you want to get them, then I invite you guys on our watch along. So let's go straight to the news. Yesterday, Fabrizio Romano, not yesterday, this morning, but yesterday, during our watch along yesterday, I told you guys that... Um, I've got information here yeah, from people I know that uh, Dean Anderson what, uh, is about doing his his uh, medicals uh, in in London. You know, yeah, Dean Anderson uh, will be moving to uh, Crystal Palace. And today morning, we just got up and said and heard from uh, the maestro Fabrizio Romano that Dean Henderson has uh, has been signed, uh, has been sold by Manchester United, basically. The deal, actually, it's uh, 15 million pound, potential 20 million with add-ons. Uh, and um, yeah, so uh, tell me what you think below. Would have Manchester United, um, is this a good thing selling Dean Henderson? Is that a good move? Is Or oh, that's a massive mistake. You might be a fan of Dean Henderson. I don't know, but you know what? I'll tell you guys something. Dean Henderson was potential. I mean, he, he was potentially one of the the future play goalkeepers not only for the for manchester united but for the premier league but you know what got him in trouble what i'm using now his mouth he lacks uh i mean he lacks that composure with the mouth and that might influence even his game so i will tell you guys exactly what i think about uh his, his living i'll tell you guys also there are some potential ins for manchester united and uh, i'll tell you guys also yesterday for those of you who never knew there was a massive massive uh uh strike or i can call it, you can call it strike and call it a protest or whatever in after an ultra for most of the united fans i mean the the, the the united fans those who really love this club well really love this club those who take this club like a member of their family uh most of them they stayed back the, the, the you say few of them but most of those die-hearted united fans let's face it guys in any organization you have people who are more extreme who really love it the organization you have people who are just passive i'm happy to be a fan of united those people who you have fans who are just like okay i'm supporting united because veran is playing for united but i mean the core united fans they start we have a lot of fan channels also who were there on the stage it reminds Reminds me of um, uh, uh, the United Way, which is uh, no, sorry, the United Way TV is us, but the United Stand and all the uh, fan channels. Yeah, you, uh, I mean, you have people there also of the Stratford Paddock. The, most of those guys who are match goers, they were on the stage, they were in the, 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 they were in the stadium, and they took part in that protest. So I will only say this to all of you who were in the stadiums. Look, guys, I want to tell you guys something. Our community, uh, we are more focused on the forgotten fans. We don't, I mean, maybe if you're somewhere in the UK, you claim to know a lot. If someone living in Manchester is your city, you claim to know a lot. Maybe this is not your place. This is a place for people who are in a very destitute, uh, in the most destitute countries who don't, who with football and Manchester United is something that gives them that happiness. That's why they come here, we share our opinion our love for our beloved club so that's uh so th those of you who are not aware of that i hope you are so manchester united as i said we have uh, um, uh completed a 50 million 50 million on sell sell uh on sales this uh, summer talking about how we got it you know we had an uh, um elanga went for 15 now we have put uh, 15 now for henderson that's 30 we sold that in 10 million for certain players, we know Fred for 10 million, that's already 40. And then we saw some other players, uh, some other players in the team uh, to, to, uh, for one, two, three, four, five million. So I think the calculation all is clearly is just um, uh, we have made roughly 50 million. Is that enough for us to bring a player? Uh, I think it's enough for us to bring another player, but maybe not two. Yeah, talking about players coming into Manchester United, we know Safrim Amrabat. I read something about Sa <clears throat> Simon Lucas, who said something on the Manchester Evening News, who said Manchester United are not that interested about Amrabat. It's a bit surprising because 
I am Fabrizio Moe Romano is saying something different, saying United are really interested about the player. And who will you believe? I personally, I'm a United fan. Fabrizio might be, but I'll tell you what, he is not a United fan the way I am. I've been doing this United thing, not the football channel. As a kid, they were calling me where I grew up, like United, Manchester, like Manchester, maybe not United, Manchester. So I am a Manchester in and out in my heart. So I do follow the club. And um, I think we, I, I think I would take Fabrizio Romano because he's someone that he invests a lot of, um, not a lot of uh, his connections to get this information. I would take his, his uh, view on this in regards to Manchester United. So I think there is, there is still more than an 80% chances for Amrabat to come in for, uh, to Manchester United. Don't forget we have five more days. I said this in the beginning of the video. Five more days on Friday. The, I mean, the, the, everything is closed. No coming in. Uh, no, no coming in and going out. I think Harry Maguire, when Harry Maguire is now, he's just pinning his fingers like this. Harry Maguire would not want to be sold. One of the biggest mystery of this transfer window has been this deal that West Ham put 60 million on the table for Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay and Manchester United turn it down. Glazers out. Glazers out. Glazers out. Glazers out is something we have to do. I think that will be one of the hashtags of these videos because these guys I'm not the one to tell you what they have done to Manchester United. So, um, talking about players who need to come, we also heard information that Manchester United are going for Cocorola. Cocorola, if you remember, he played for um, Brighton. Very good season. Last season, was City, he was bought uh, by Chelsea for £50 million. £50 million pounds for a left back. And Chelsea are ready to part with him uh, soon. But how do we buy Cocorola? For, I mean, what would be his transfer fee? 20 million, 15 million? I don't think Chelsea will go down that easy. It's not an easy movement, especially when they're selling to, to a, a potential rival like Manchester United. Let's face it, Chelsea and Manchester United, their rival, they might not be doing well. But they are rivals, clubs, you know, in terms of in many in many ways we are rival. So um Cocorolo we've heard hearing about also about Regalon. Regalon, Regalon, he's a Mia Real Madrid player. He played for Totem Hot Spotting two years ago last year on the Jose Mourinho. He played two years ago. Yeah, and uh, Regalon has um, also is also in the market for Manchester uh, for Manchester United. But um, I want to ask you guys, tell me what you think. You know, Regalon, will you prefer Regalon, Regalon or Cocorella? For those of you who watch the Premier League, you know what I'm talking about. Regalon used to play for Tottenham Hotspur. Which of them will you prefer, Regalon at the left back or Cocorella? I love Regalon for his uh, offensive play, but I think defensive play he is um, a suspect and uh, United. Honestly, if we were, if in the next two years, I would want a player like Regalon because we need that offensive player, someone who asks the ball. I, I, I mean, most would say Cocorella, but I will go for Regalon. Honestly, I know Cocorella is perfect defense. I just want players. I, I can't wait for Manchester United to be very offensive. I want that offensive play, Manchester United, and I think Regalon can bring it up, bring it in. But the question also, we do have a setting. Uh, is Al Alonso Alvaro or Alonso or what, what's his name? Uh, the guy was in Preston last season. Uh, I, I think eighteen or nineteen years of age. He did a very good preseason. I think he should be given a chance. You know what? I want to remind you guys something. For some of you who think that this guy, Alonso, the defender of Manchester United, is too young to start the Premier League. If we didn't have two, I think it was two or three injuries on that fine on that uh, 16 finals of the European Cup, no one would have known Marcus Rashford. I spoke to a friend of mine who is a also a previous footballer of the Cameroon national team. He told me whenever he's older than you and I, someone's of above 50, he said he told me that in football. If you're good enough, you're mature enough. You have to give players the chances. I know that it might be a very tough call for a young kid coming in, but this guy has the physicality. He can play Alonso. You guys know him, the guy with the hair. Uh, 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 tell me what you think below. Should we keep Alonso? Should Manchester United keep Alonso? Or we should go and buy another player? Because uh, honestly, uh, at the grand scheme of things, the reason why we, 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 we cook these players or we, we train these players, we nurture these players on our reserve teams is just because we have to use them in the first team. So this is an opportunity to use a second, uh, I mean, one of our youth players other than investing. But definitely Manchester United needs to bring in Amrabat because when we look at these games, I think all of you guys, most of those of you who are doing what we're doing here on this channel, you must agree that uh, Manchester United... Um, 
Casemiro isn't that quick. Casemiro can play three games in in nine days. He, he cannot be on that level. We need we need to stir things up and bring in a player that can cast, deputize Casemiro. Tell me what you think below because that is where I believe uh, that's my position in regards to Casemiro. So what do we have again? Another story about uh, Mason Greenwood. I, I you know. I don't want to talk about Mason Greenwood a lot. I think the situation of Mason Greenwood, he would play this season, but not with Manchester United. United has said he won't feature. I'll do another video about Mason Greenwood, which is the latest, the latest on Mason Greenwood, give you the latest about uh, play, uh, our, the I, uh, Ivorian International also. Uh, I will give you a lot of information. But guys, I want to remind you guys, on the on, in five days time is the last day of transfer we will be here 25 hours 24 24 hours a day sorry we'll be doing our live movement inside out it will be more than the manchester united it will be round the clock uh, other teams also who are going in players who are going in and out so stay with the united way guys subscribe to the channel smash a like on the video tell me if Andy, uh, um, henderson leaving manchester united it's a good deal. And there is a report that United are going for a Bechistas goalkeeper. It's a young goalkeeper, which most of you might not know. I haven't seen him play. I won't lie to replace Henderson. So um, that we would we will give you guys stay inform you guys as things develop in regards to this. Anyway, guys, smash a like on the video. Stay in charge with the United Way and talk to you soon. Bye.